Hello children, we all know that soil is the uppermost layer of the earth that we can see. It has air spaces, water, nutrients and thus plants grow on this soil. Even small animals make their shelter in it. So children, let's learn more about this top layer of the earth. Come on. When the earth was formed many billions of years ago, there were only rocks on its surface. The rocks broke down gradually due to the action of heat, rain and wind into smaller pieces. Slowly, the broken small rock pieces got mixed with dead and rotting plants and after millions of years, these pieces changed into soil. The process of breaking up of rocks to form soil is called weathering. Soil is continuously being formed due to weathering. However, the process is very slow and it takes millions of years for a thin layer of soil to form. The soil is made up of three layers. Bedrock is formed of large pieces of rocks deep inside the earth. Soil formation begins from bedrock. The bedrock slowly changes into subsoil. This layer is made up of smaller bits of rocks. The topmost layer of soil is topsoil. It is made up of fine particles of sand and clay mixed with humus. The topmost layer of soil plants grow in the topsoil. However, roots of some big trees may reach the subsoil. Soil contains minerals, air, water and organic matter in varying amounts. Living creatures such as beetles, bugs, mice and earthworms live in the soil and contribute to its quality. Microorganisms such as bacteria also help enrich the soil by breaking down the organic matter. Depending on the size of the soil particles, there are three types of soils. Sandy, clay and loamy. Sandy soil has the largest particles. It does not hold water in it and there are a lot of air spaces. Groundnuts, vines and maize grow well in sandy soil. Clay soil can hold a lot of water. It doesn't have air in it. Sunflowers, roses and many shrubs grow best in clay soil. Loamy soil holds just enough water and air. It also has humus. Many plants grow well in loamy soil. But sometimes the top fertile layer of soil is carried away by wind or water and this is called soil erosion. It makes a fertile land barren which leads to poor harvests. There are many agents that cause soil erosion. Running water loosens and washes away the soil causing erosion. Flooded rivers flowing with great speed remove topsoil. Running water and heavy rains also wash away the soil off the hill slopes. Another agent is wind. Wind easily carries away the fertile topsoil from areas like deserts with poor vegetation. This causes the roots of plants to lose their soil cover leading to uprooting followed by the death of the plants. Another agent is deforestation that is large scale cutting down of forests make the soil loose and the soil thus gets easily carried away. Another agent is overgrazing. Overgrazing leads to bare land with no vegetation cover. Soil is thus carried away easily. Another agent is plowing. It loosens the soil and thus it gets eroded easily. Even construction activity leaves the land bare with little vegetation leading to soil erosion. We have no control over natural agents like wind, flow of rivers and floods. However, we can prevent soil from getting eroded by taking some measures given here. Fields lie bare between a harvest and the next sowing. 
so farmers plant cover crops to prevent soil erosion cover crops are usually creepers and grasses which grow fast and cover the ground to prevent soil erosion embankments are mad made structures that are built along the river banks they are mounds of earth or stone which help to control floods during heavy rains and thus prevent soil erosion terracing the hilly slopes also help in soil conservation it involves cutting steps or terraces on hill slopes this helps reduce soil erosion by slowing down the flow of water from top of the hill to its base a forestation that is planting trees on a large scale help in soil conservation grasses hold the soil in place and prevent it from getting eroded and thus should be grown on hill slopes to prevent soil erosion thus children keep our planet earth green by planting more trees rather each one plant one thank you